you. Well, the hustle and bustle of the holidays is about more than just shopping. At St. Matthew's House in Collier County, the kitchen staff and a team of volunteers are preparing to transform the cafeteria into a beautiful restaurant to feed hundreds of people. Four in your corner, Sabrina Bashir is showing you what it takes to make all that happen. All new at 10. Well, the hustle and bustle of the holidays is way more than just shopping. At St. Matthew's House, the kitchen staff and a team of volunteers have been working since Monday to transform the cafeteria into a restaurant, making sure that everyone gets a Christmas meal. Chopping, stirring, and sizzling. Come Christmas morning, 600 people will be able to feast. So we start with our salad. And if you look over here, we have about 500 uh, five ounce fillets that we went ahead and rubbed down in um, sunset steak seasoning. Chef Chris and his team of volunteers, 30 a day since Monday, have skewered all these shrimp, chopped 150 pounds of potatoes, cut 200 pounds of mixed vegetables, and prepared 50 pounds of salad. And of course, they joyfully prepared the seasonings. Oh, I love it. I've been chopping garlic and onions for hours and vegetables and stuff, but I don't care. Without the volunteers, Chef Chris, a sous chef, and four kitchen staffers couldn't put on the Christmas dinner. I, like, I'm literally getting goosebumps just thinking about it now to see these people giving of their time on what is the biggest holiday of the year for these people to stop and get out of their own worlds and for two hours, three hours, come down here and serve food to someone they've never met, someone that they probably won't ever see again, is an amazing thing. And that's what Christmas is all about. It's not about what you receive. It's about what you give. This is Cindy's first year volunteering at the shelter. I decided that Christmas wasn't about opening presents. It's about opening your heart. And that's what fuels Chef Chris to get in at 7 a.m. and go nonstop. Because when I get here, I'm energized. I'm encouraged. I get to cook for people who, who the, the amount of thank yous that I get when people have eaten my food and walk out that door is worth it. People like the Starry family, homeless for the first time during the holidays. It's amazing, especially for the kids, you know, because we knew it was going to be tough this year trying to get them presents and everything. And from the parents to the kids, they want to share a message to the community that is making it happen. Thank you for donating everything that you donate here because... I think it's really helpful. More than 60 volunteers are expected at St. Matt's House starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow. But the entree of surf and turf doesn't start coming out until noon, but it will go until 4 p.m. Reporting in Naples, Sabina Bassine, Fox 4 in your corner.